The Jacob Well may appear calm on the surface, but don't forget that divers have been known to fall victim to the sinkhole's underwater tunnel system and lose their lives. The sinkhole in Jacob's Well is filled by a spring, which is an hour from Austin. It may be found in Hayes County, Texas. At least 12 divers have died trying to explore the cave system, which can be reached by going about 100 feet down the sinkhole, according to Heather Alexander of the Houston Chronicle. Alexander talked to a diver from Hayes County named Don Dibble. Dibble has helped look for missing explorers in the cave system. So why did people put their lives in danger? It was the forbidden fruit, the lure of doing something dangerous. This is why so many people have put their lives at risk at Jacob's Well. There is a long history of deaths in the cave. Let's take a look at their cave exploration. A group of friends from California went diving at Jacob's Well on September 9, 1979. As the group set up their tents, it was almost midnight, but Kent Moppin, 20, and Mark Brescier, 21, decided they wanted to go diving before going to bed. Even though it was late, there were other divers at the site who saw the two men descend to the bottom of the well and squeeze through the small opening to the cave's deepest chamber. They had to take off their oxygen tanks and pull them in separately. In a story in the Houston Chronicle about the incident, one of the divers who saw the two men go into the chamber said that the men didn't have backup lights or a safety line. He said he tried to get their attention by flashing his own light at them, but they didn't pay attention to his warning. Neither man was seen again. Rescue divers, including Don Dibble, tried for weeks to get their bodies out of Jacob's well, but they couldn't get through the dangerous passage that had kept the men there. But why is Jacob's well so deadly? Maupin and Brashear are the only two people who have died in Jacob's well. At least Maupin was an experienced diver. He had been diving since he was 12 and was already a certified dive instructor. If the dangerous forbidden fruit is what brings people to this place, what is so dangerous about the well that even experienced divers have died there? In an article for Visit Wimberley written by Louis Bond in 2001, he talks about how hard it is to get through the cave system. He talks about a false chimney that looks like a way out of the well but has already trapped at least one diver. The passages between the different chambers are also very narrow. In deeper caverns, gravel and silt floors and small spaces can make it hard to see, especially if the divers aren't careful not to stir up the loose material. Let us discuss a recent incident with you that happened at Jacob's Well. A stronger grate has been put in place to keep unlicensed divers from going down into the well's dangerous depths, but that didn't stop 21-year-old diver Diego Adame from coming close to disaster in 2015. Adam was doing a free dive, which means he was diving without extra oxygen. He had gone down about 100 feet when one of his flippers broke off, making it hard for him to move around. Adam decided to leave the lost piece of gear and try to get to the surface with just one flipper. His adrenaline was pumping and his lungs were screaming for air. Adam was lucky that his diving training kicked in and helped him stay calm and on task. He came up to the surface just as his body ran out of oxygen, so he didn't become another victim of Jacob's well. That's all for today. Hope you all liked our video, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.